Today, I'm going to show you how we turn this garage into a $2,000 profit. I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing by starting a garage floor business. If you want to figure out what this process looks like and how much the profit margins are, then this video is for you. First, we grind the concrete. This is the biggest expense when getting into the concrete coatings business. The grinder that we use is around $10,000. I spent about $4,000 on this generator, which is totally overkill, but I did it because these Honda generators are quiet. I just can't stand the loud noise on the job site. Our hand grinder costs about $400 and our vacuum costs around $800. And a set of diamonds for the grinder is gonna be around $600. So the total that we spent on this setup that you're seeing in this video is around $15,000 but you can also get started for a lot less. We used to use a grinder that I bought used for about $2,500. And then once you buy a hand grinder for $400 and a vacuum to go with it for about $800, you're all in for about $3,700. And that's a lot more manageable than $15,000. And we used to set up just like that when we first started doing garage floors. I'll play a few clips on the screen now. This worked really well for us for a long time. It's just not quite as efficient as the first grinder I showed you. But if that's still too much, you can always rent a grinder for about $600 a day until you can afford to buy one. I'm just giving you a few options because there's always a way to get started. Once the concrete is prepped, we're ready to apply the epoxy. This garage I'm showing today is around 500 square feet. We apply the epoxy primer with a squeegee and then we spread it out with a roller. We're usually trying to apply this coat at around 160 square feet per gallon, which means that we're gonna use about four gallons of epoxy on this job, which is gonna cost around $240. Once we get the epoxy rolled out, we're gonna broadcast flakes to rejection, which means that we're gonna throw so many chips on the floor that you can no longer see the epoxy. For 500 square feet, we're gonna use about three boxes of flakes, which is gonna cost around $270. We're gonna come back the next day and we're gonna scrape up all the loose chips and get ready to apply our polyaspartic top coat. We usually try to spread the top coat at around 130 square feet per gallon, which means that we're gonna need about four gallons of poly for this project. And that's gonna cost us about $420. So our total cost for materials on this garage floor, not including labor, is gonna be around $930. If you're installing a garage floor using professional materials for a 500 square foot garage, now obviously there's a ton of variables for this, but you're probably gonna charge around $3,200, which means that once you pay for labor and materials, you're probably gonna profit around $2,000. But like I said, there are a ton of variables. You might have van payments or shop payments or advertising costs. There's a lot of things to keep in mind that affect how much you can make on a job. Throughout this video, I've been showing you a spreadsheet that we use to bid job. You just enter the total square footage of the job and it's gonna calculate exactly how much product you need. And then once you have all your expenses calculated, you can adjust how much you charge per square foot and you can see exactly how much you're gonna make. Like I said, overhead is different for everyone. Buying a van and renting a shop and labor and advertising costs, all of those things are gonna affect how much you need to charge to actually make a profit. And that's why I've made it easy to change how much you're charging in the spreadsheet. If you'd like to get a copy of this spreadsheet for free, I will leave a link in the description down below. You just head over to that website, you enter your email address, and I'll send you a copy of the spreadsheet along with a video that explains to you exactly how to use it. If you wanna learn more about specific types of materials that we use, you can click this video right here. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.